that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hey there, YouTube. We're back again today for another game review charge by BoardGameExchange.com. It's like board game on a website. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Candyland from Milton Bradley. This is for ages three and up for two to four players. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes to play. And in Candyland, you and three other survivors will be venturing forth through the dirty land of candy, going through candy canes and ice cream and fairies trying to make your way to the candy kingdom without getting stuck in licorice. Sound intense? Let's open it up and see how it plays. All right, so inside of Candyland, let's take a look at what you're gonna get. First and foremost, you're gonna get your handy dandy rule book. It comes in English, comes in Spanish. Uh, very simple game, very simple rules. You probably only need it once or twice. You're gonna get four little gingerbread man pawn who will be venturing forth through Candyland. And uh, they're different colors, obviously. <clears throat> Last but not least, you're going to get these cards. These cards are the heart of the game. Now, on these cards, you're going to see a couple different symbols. You're going to have one of a color, you're going to have two of a color, or you are going to have a special symbol. That's it. No more, no less. On the board, there's going to be different colors. Look, there's six. Red, purple, yellow, blue, orange, and green. So, if we were to start off, we'll do a quick mock hand. <clears throat> if this guy... The first guy, green, got an orange. He would go to the first orange space. Lucky him, he gets to go on a rainbow trail, which is a shortcut. Uh, so he would go there, and then he would be there. His turn would be over. Next person would draw. They'd get double purple, so they'd count one purple, two purple, and they'd go there. Boom, good for them. Then this person would get a special one. Now, when you get a special one, this one's a gingerbread, you're going to go to that symbol. So if she got the ice cream cone, well then, good for her. She's all the way there at the ice cream cone. Uh, but this one is the gingerbread cookies. She would go there, and then you would just continue to repeat. Purple would go to the next purple, which would be here, and then yellow would go to the next green, which would be here, and red would go blah, 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 blah. That's how it goes. It's a very simplistic game. Um, the only other thing I want to mention is that there are licorice spots from here to there. Well, you will lose your turn, and normally if you land there, I tell the kids to put them down, and then uh, they, they lose one turn on the licorice. Uh, one thing you will notice is, yeah, if you get the ice cream cone, the very first card, you're probably going to win. Um, it does have that sort of lack of balance, but there's nothing really you can do about it. But you keep going until you get to Candy Castle with the overweight, obese King Candy. And uh, if you get there first, you are the winner of Candyland. And that's how Candyland is played. All right, then. Candyland from Milton Bradley. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First... On the con side, the game is incredibly simplistic. If you didn't know that, now you do. It's for ages three and up, and three-year-olds really do get a hoot out of this game. There's no strategy whatsoever. You really can't... I mean, this is like the opposite of games that have no luck. This is completely luck. There is no way to do good at this game aside from cheating. And if you're cheating, you're probably cheating the folk against little kids. Shame on you. Uh... I mean, other than that, let's go over the pros. I like the artwork. The game's good. It's a good young children's game. They're going to learn about colors and doubles and singles and moving forward and shortcuts. And occasionally you're going to learn that, oh, you landed on the licorice, so you got to stay there. But, I mean, you know what you're getting to going in, the, in with this game. Um, if you haven't played in a while, it is a fun game to play with your kids in small dosages. And, and it's not a terrible game. I mean, I really wish they would have done more with it. I wish there were shapes and numbers, but they stuck with colors. It's a good quality game, good artwork, and you find it for cheap, your kid will have a lot of fun with it. That's Candyland from Milton Bradley. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was a review for Candyland. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner. Also, check out BoardGameExchange.com, the nationwide board game rental service.